Hi, welcome to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because we're filming what I got my kids for Christmas. This is so, so fun. I love making this video. It's the third year I think I've made it and I'm very, very excited to do it for you. So please remember to subscribe and let's talk about presents. Okay, so I have five kids ranging from 10 to 10 months and I'm excited to go through all their presents with you today that they're getting for Christmas from mom and dad. And uh, this year I did uh, something a little different. I chose a theme basically for each child and bought presents according to that theme. And so when I get to each one, I'll tell you what the theme is for each child. <laughs> and then also I spent about $230 per child, not that much on the baby, but somewhere I think it was like 170 or something for the baby, I don't know. But there's also a few caveats within that amount. So for some people that might be a lot of money and for other people that's like, they're like you can buy one thing with $230. So everyone kind of has differing opinions, but for me I feel like that's reasonable, it's still like within budget and also a good budget for me to get meaningful gifts for my kids. So that's kind of what we chose. But within that there's presents that we do as traditions every single year or that are part of our advent. So about $50 of that is their church clothes. They get, you know, Christmas church clothes and then pajamas and then they open a book for advent before that, before Christmas. And so that's about $50 of that. And then normally I get them a game. Usually it's something more catered to what they like, but this year I just got five different games and I'll just put them Paulson kids <laughs> and they'll each get to open one. So that was $20. I split it between the five games. So some of the games are more expensive, some were less, but I just put $20 towards each kid's budget that focused on a game. And so I'll go through all the games at the end and we'll just focus on the, the kids' presents, their individual presents first. Okay, we're gonna start with my oldest. He will be 11 right after Christmas. All three of my boys have birthdays right after Christmas. I didn't plan it that way. That's just what happened. So here we are. And so just so you kind of know, that's he'll, he's almost 11, but his theme is Japan. He loves, loves Japan. Okay, he is autistic and he has always loved Pokemon. He's very obsessed with Pokemon. And so that's kind of what's driven this Japanese obsession and he is learning Japanese right now. So I tried to get things that were kind of around that. It's not perfect and I was still trying to cater to things that he liked, but that's kind of what I'm gonna show you. So the first thing I thought would be really fun for him was a crate with like treats or snacks or things like that that were a little bit more Japanese. So I did the Japan crate right here and I found like a 50% off. So this only ended up being $25 instead of 50. And so that was really nice. So, and it was the Halloween one because <laughs> I wanted to make sure it was here in time for Christmas and to film. And so it's Halloween, but that's cool, right? <laughs> I think you'll think it's still fun. So it has just a bunch of different things, some like chips, some different snacks and I thought it would be so fun for him to go through. He might recognize some of the characters. I'm not really sure but I thought that would be a cool thing for him and just something different. And then for something for Legos, he loves doing Legos, but I also wanted something Japanese themed and he already has all like basically all the Pokemon Legos, Legos that you could get. So I did the architecture one. We got this for my daughter, not this landscape. Is that what it's called? I don't know, C Cityscape? <laughs> That's what it's called last year. And so I think hers is maybe London. I don't remember for sure. Maybe it's France. I think hers is France. So this one is Tokyo. And so I thought this would be something fun for him to do that also is Japanese. And then this is a game when I was searching for different things that might be fun for him. This is one of the things that had come up. And so you throw, you know, like the ball, it's kind of like those paddle boards, but up and it has a little almost spike, I think on it, you try to catch it. And so just something fun that I thought he would enjoy trying out. And then I also got some origami. And so I found a Pokemon origami book again, cause he loves Pokemon. So this has some paper and some different characters that he can make, build in here, make, origami. I don't know. <laughs> Words today. What are they? I don't know. And then I also just got him some extra origami paper so that he could either continue building Pokemon or maybe we can look up some more things and he can continue to try to make these. So we'll see how that goes. And then the last like Japanese thing he got. Oh wait, there's one more thing. <laughs> 
it's not Japanese, but it's, it's he can build Pokemon with it because he loves to do that. And so it's this clay. This is a huge box, okay? You will see this again with my next son because we are splitting this box, but it was cheaper to buy a big box. So this is the model magic clay, like from Crayola. Sorry, it's gonna be loud. But they like this. It comes with tons of these like teeny little packets. And this, so white, you know, there's tons of different colors in here. This is supposed to be for like a schoolroom set. And so I got that and I'm gonna split it between my boys because they both love building stuff, but he can build his Pokemon with that clay. And then this is the last thing. So he got a book. All my kids got like one book that kind of was around their theme. And so uh, this is the Japanese picture dictionary coloring book. And so I asked my husband <laughs> these things because he speaks a little Japanese and he's like, oh yeah, that looks cool. And so you get to color it, but then it has the names over here. So I think it has the way you can say it like phonetically, but then it has the characters and what it means. So I thought it would just be a good visual thing for him to practice some of the words and characters if he wanted to do that. And then for some of our traditions, things that he's going to get, this is the book he's gonna open before Christmas. So this is The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. My husband loves Brandon Sanderson and this was a book that he thought might be interesting for our son. He's kind of, he's reading the Aragon books right now, more that like fantasy, dragons, all that kind of stuff. And so he thought maybe he would like this too. And then his tie, this is his brother, the, he has two other brothers now. <laughs> I sometimes forget that we have a 10 month old, <laughs> but they all got a similar color. And so it's like a burgundy. I kind of switch between burgundy and green usually every year. So I think last year we did a dark green. This year we're doing burgundy. And then pajamas. I'm excited about these. <laughs> I didn't get these ones for me and my husband because I didn't want to waste money and we wouldn't wear them. But they're polar bears. How cute is that? <laughs> then we haven't done ones like this before and I got them, you know, they're huge because I want him to be able to wear them for a long time. So he might look really, really funny. But these are from JCPenney and that's usually where I get like the family pajamas. Let me show you ours. I have them right here. So me and my husband... I just got the, these ones are super fleecy, which I love. Normally they're just more flannel, but these are like f fleecy filling, like buffalo. We're, we're going with the buffalo plaid here. And then I got a sweater, like these came together, but this says mama elf and his, I think says papa elf or something. But I just thought this would be something I'd actually wear more than a pajama top. Cause I don't really like the long sleeve pajama tops. They're not comfortable for me but I love these as well. And I got them in larges. I normally wear mediums in most things, but I not in pajamas. Cause again, I feel claustrophobic. <laughs> so that's our pajamas, but all the kids pajamas look like polar bears and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> okay. So the next child is a daughter that is nine and a half and her theme is sewing slash a little bit of crafts. And so the last few years we've really gotten her tons and tons of engineering stuff which she is excited about and she loves because she really wants to be an engineer. But I was like, okay, can we like come back a little bit from that this year and do something different? Just so it's not the same thing year after year and she can be exposed to different things. And she has wanted to learn how to sew for a while. I know how to sew. I don't do it a whole lot. <laughs> and I've wanted to teach her the last few years, but having a surprise baby kind of just like threw us all for a loop and <laughs> made our lives a little bit crazy. So I haven't gotten to it but I thought it would be fun to do for Christmas this year. So I have a few different things to show you, a few different sewing kits and some other crafts that she's going to be getting. So these first sewing kits are from Etsy and, and everything I will, I can link, I will link down below so you can check it out. And so this is a little owl purse. These were all from the same seller on Etsy. And I think they were only like $12, like they were reasonably priced. And so I, especially when you consider having to buy a pattern either online or at the store and then getting the fabric. And especially if you only need a little piece, all the things. So just buying it in a kit and it comes with thread in here as well. So these are kind of hard to see, but this is a little owl purse right there. And then this is a bunny pillow and this had different like color options. There was, I think I would have gotten a gray one to probably like the pink one better anyways, but I think some of them were sold out when I got them. 
And then this one is a little flower pillow. Again, it's kind of hard to see. The pictures are really small and it just wants to focus on my face. So there you go. So those are the ones off of Etsy. And then I have a friend that I've mentioned on here before on my channel who has, they had a website. I don't know if they currently are doing their website, but they have an Etsy store. It's the Home Ec School. And so I reached out to her and was like, do you have any sewing kits that you could put together that you have that I could buy from you? And she, they said they had just done like a boutique, boutique type thing, whatever in Texas. And so she was like, I have some leftover for like a mini quilt. And so she put this box together <laughs> her and her like business partner put it together for me and it's my first quilt and so it has the fabric and different things in here and if I remember I'll post some of the finished products on Instagram once we get there <laughs> okay so like in 10 years maybe <laughs> but anyway so this has a whole bunch of sewing stuff in it for her and then I asked this friend too what would be some good like notions or I if you're not familiar with sewing notions would be like all the extra things like scissors and things like that. So I got her some scissors that she can use because I have sewing scissors. They're very expensive. They're extremely sharp and I don't need her to cut her fingers off. So I got these ones. So hopefully they're sharp enough to do what she needs. And then my friend also said that this was the one of the best pin cushions, a magnetic one, which is funny because this is the kind my mom always had. She probably still has it, <laughs> a red one <laughs> when I was a child. And so she'll be excited to have her own pins here. Okay, then I'm also gonna wrap this box right here. This is stuff I got from the Home Ec School. I believe it was last year, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it with her because again, we've been really busy, but it has some more kits in it. And I think one of them is for like a fox pillow, like this pattern is all for a fox pillow. There's stuff for a supply bag right here. And then it comes with some of the patterns in here as well. And so I'm gonna wrap all this up. It's just gonna be like a sewing adventure with her, which is kind of bad for me because then I have to help her. <laughs> which is good, but it's also just like, Ugh. okay. And then some of the other crafts I got her, she was eyeing this in from Mindware and it's just the bracelets. And I thought these would be cool. They always want like the beads and I hate beaded bracelets cause then they fall apart and the beads go everywhere. And now that we have a baby, he's going to eat them all. So I just thought this would be better. Just more fabric, fabric, I don't know, string bracelets, I guess. <laughs> That's what you call them. And then it also had the like extra string you could buy with it. So I got that for her. And then uh, when I was around her age, I was cross stitching already. And so I thought it'd be fun to do some cross stitches with her. And so I got this one. This is a unicorn one from Hobby Lobby. And I actually saw this one on Amazon it's cheaper at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so I guess if you live by Hobby Lobby, you might want to buy it there. They have a few different patterns for like my first stitch, my first cross stitch that are simple. And then she's been into bookmarks lately. She loves to read. And so I thought these might be fun. They're on more like of a cardstock paper, you know, and so she'll have to be careful. I don't know how easy it like rips or anything like that, but I thought these might be fun for her to try. And then books, sewing books. I couldn't pick one, <laughs> so I got three. <laughs> so her, her price is like $20 more than everyone else. So I'm still debating whether I wrap all three of these, you know, and like together and have her open them all together, or if I just have like two separate and just wrap one of them and she can open it. But they all seem really good. They all have kind of different things, some different projects, but they're all for beginning sewers. You know, this is sewing machine basics. So I thought this might be good as well just to get, become familiar with the sewing machine. So I couldn't decide, so I got them all. And then I think that's all for her theme and her book that she will open for Advent is Wild Magic. This is a book I think my husband said he read as a child and thought she might be really interested in this type of book. So I know nothing about it, but he said it might be cool for her. And then this is the dress. I used to make dresses. Again, I don't have time, so maybe I'll get back to it one day. But I just found this on Amazon and I thought it was super cute. It has like little puff balls on it, like a, like a see-through long sleeve and I don't know. I think it looks cute. So hopefully it will work out for her and 
her pajamas right here. <laughs> so those are the things that I got for my nine-year-old. Okay, on to the next child. When you have five kids, there's, there's a lot of presents to go through and I didn't even buy them that many presents. So the next child, is uh how old is he <laughs> he's almost eight he'll be eight right after christmas an eight-year-old boy and so his theme is kind of stem or steam he doesn't have enough like with my next two kids they don't have like specific interests enough that i wanted to focus everything on that and so i picked a different kind of overall theme so his is more like stem and steam base stuff and so i did a lego kit he likes to do legos but he hasn't had one that's like outer space and he's actually studying rockets and rocketry is that what it's called <laughs> as part of homeschool this year with this charter school basically that we're a part of and so that's been fun for him so far he's really excited so far it's been like stomp rockets and squeeze rockets and he really wants to get into <laughs> big rockets <laughs> we will get there but you know it's not even halfway through the school year yet so i thought it'd be fun to get him something with rockets in outer space and one this is one of the creator kits i have it backwards right here so one of the creator kits and so it makes three different things and so i thought that would be cool for him and then i also got some science magic he loves these kinds of things and we haven't had a whole kit focused on it, like the different uh, sands and stuff that perform differently in water. It's just very cool and he thinks it's so cool. So I thought we'll, we would give this a try. Some of these are hit and miss. You just never know how they're gonna work out. So we'll see. And then I thought this car might be fun for him. This is a remote control car. I think you can also make it into a truck down here but the reviews were pretty good i went through several and there wasn't a whole lot that had great reviews that you're like building them and then you know using them <laughs> most of them are like this doesn't work or falls apart or something so yeah here's a picture of the truck on the back and so i thought this could be fun for him to try out so we're gonna do that and then again with the clay <laughs> all the clay right here and so we have a whole bunch of these that i'm going to divide this up and wrap it up individually for my two older boys so that he can build stuff with that because he thinks that is so incredibly fun and then i got him one of these lego kits we've gotten some of these before again sometimes i like them sometimes i don't so we thought I thought we'd try this one out. This is an animation one, and my oldest boy is actually doing an animation class right now. So we'll see how this all goes for him. But it has, you know, it's kind of a mix of a book, but then also has some of the characters you might need, but then you need other Legos to build it. Luckily, we have lots of them. And so it has the different things in here that he can do. And then for his book that relates to his theme, I did awesome engineering activities for kids. They have several different types of books for this. I think there's a cooking one and there's different ones, like tons and tons of them. So if you're looking for something in a different area, they probably have it. And I thought this one would just be the most fun that he could build stuff. You know, it has things that we probably have with popsicle sticks or plastic spoons and it'd be stuff that he could easily build and put together and he would think that was a lot of fun and then again for stuff for our traditions as a family this is the book that he will open for advent so the secret of the hidden scrolls i think this was a recommendation from my friend i asked her for book recommendations i read a lot but i also have a hard time like knowing what is good for certain age groups or for certain genres and stuff and so she recommended this and i think it has several books which i love getting stuff that's a series because then we know if they like it we can go get more and then he will get a tie <laughs> and some pajamas <laughs> and that's those are his gifts okay so now we're on to my five-year-old daughter and her theme is kind of exploration <laughs> because again she doesn't have something that's very specific interest she's still just kind of learning what she even likes and so that's kind of what her theme is around so the first thing i got she wanted some legos and so i got some frozen legos right here and this is i think the jewelry box is what it's supposed to be i always hold them backwards here's the front we'll figure it out eventually <laughs> okay so here is the front of that so i thought that would be fun for her it'd be challenging too for her some you know it's six plus and she is almost six but we'll see she'll probably need some help and she she hates help like absolutely hates it so we'll see how that goes 
And then this is from Mindware. This is Sparkle Mosaics. I think it's like a magnet board. You can kind of see on the back and it comes with tons of little pieces and they can put them together. And I like that it's reusable and something fun that she can do. And then I got a light bright. I got this, this was on sale during Prime Day during the summer. <laughs> and so I was like, why not try it out? I've wanted to try it out, but we just haven't ever done it. So I thought this might be a cool thing for her to do is to do a light bright. And then I also got this Arteza clay kit. And so they have some bigger ones. This one just lets you do two like keepsakes. Some of them had four. And so it gives you some ideas. Obviously you don't have to do the ones they show, but that's kind of what the clay is there for. And this is sand clay, like a little bit rough. And then it comes with all the little pieces you can put in it. So I thought that be, could be cool for her. And if she does a handprint, that would be something fun to save as well. Okay, so the next thing that I got for her is a little bookish wardrobe. I was looking for a crate that might be fun to help her, you know, explore different things or whatever. And so this one looked cool. And I didn't get the monthly subscription. They have some options in their store for past ones that are still available. And so that's what I got. And sorry, there's tissue paper. I've already opened this before, but here we are again. So the thing, it comes with a book. So that's, it's all kind of around a book. So I thought that was fun as well. So she's getting an extra book. <laughs> and then it also comes with like an outfit, like a dress up outfit, which I thought would be really fun. So this one, is a bear because this is about a polar bear and then it has a few different games so it has this like banana purse <laughs> and then it has a puzzle in here also that relates to it so i just thought it'd be fun it comes with a few different activities and then something different that exposes exposes her to something maybe new and adds another dress up costume <laughs> to our bin so that that's that for her. And then the book that she'll be getting, it doesn't necessarily go along with her theme. It talks about cooking. So I guess you could say it goes along with exploration, but it's the Witch witch's cat and the cooking catastrophe. So I just thought this looked fun. I just kind of go through books that people really like or that show up on multiple lists. And this was one of them. So that's the book that I chose to get for her. And then the book she'll open for Advent is Never Let a Unicorn Wear a Tutu. We already have one of these unicorn books, so I thought it'd be fun to get another one. She loves unicorns, so that's what I did. And then the same dress as her sister, but smaller, obviously. <laughs> and so I got that dress for her and then some pajamas. And so those are her gifts for Christmas. Okay, so we're on to the last kid. Whew, five is a lot. <laughs> But he is 10 months old. He'll be almost one at Christmas time. So I tried to get things that would be developmentally appropriate for a one year old. And so that's what we're going to kind of look at. He didn't, I didn't get him very much, but one of his things is pretty expensive. And so I got this train right here it has several parts. I can't even remember what company it is from. They were going out of business. I think someone had posted it. And so I grabbed some of their stuff when it was extremely cheap. And so that's where this train is from. And the pieces are pretty big, so I'm not like worried about him choking on them or anything like that. And then his big gift, he doesn't have a theme. <laughs> I guess exploration, you know, that's what babies do. <laughs> <laughs> but his big gift is Love Every right here. And I'm excited about this. I've wanted to try this subscription for a while, but I didn't have a baby, like, because it's to, I think, about four-year-olds. And so I didn't have anybody young enough for it. And it is fairly expensive. So I put his age out a few months when I got this so that I could get, this is the 13, 14, and 15 month one, because this one is a quarterly box. It's like $120 for a quarter. And then from like zero to 12 months, I think they do every two months and that's $80. And so I wanted one of these bigger ones and I wanted something that was age appropriate for him at Christmas time. <laughs> and so that's why I got this one. So this is the Babbler. And again, it's huge. I'm not going to really be able to show you <laughs> everything that's in it. But if you go to their website, they like lay out everything very clearly for what's in every single crate. But when you open it up, it just has, you know, <laughs> a, a kid playing right there. And then all the different toys. I'm going to tip over with this box. That's what's going to happen. So a bunch of different toys in here and they're all Montessori inspired. So like nice wooden toys. So it was kind of between this and 
KiwiCo has a crate for young kids that goes off of their age and they send different crates according to how old they are. And so it was either that or this, that the Kiwi crate is a lot cheaper, but this provides us with toys that will last longer because they are made out of wood. They're better quality. And so I was like, okay, we'll give it a try. So that's like his big gift. And then he'll get one of these books for Advent, one for Christmas. And they're both the Melissa and Doug polka dot. And some of the reviews were saying like the dots don't all work, which is true, but I still think it's fun. You know, like you post all, post, you don't post them. You push all the dots right here, you know, like this one doesn't, but I think like a one-year-old's gonna just think that's so fun to push that. But this one is the Alphabet I Spy, and then this is Old McDonald, McDonald's Farm, and they had a few other ones. Those are just the ones I picked. And then I got him a tie. I think it's pretty close to the same color as that boy's, but this one is like a Velcro around his neck sort of tie <laughs> since, you know, he's very little. <laughs> well, he's big for his age, but he's still very little. And then I'm so excited to see <laughs> his pajamas. So these are 2T. He, he uh, they might be kind of huge on him. He is in basically 18 month clothes right now. And so I wanted something that would fit him for a while and he's not gonna wear it to bed. We'll put it on him Christmas morning, you know, for pictures and all that kind of stuff. But he, he hates hoods on his head. And so he's not gonna wear this to bed anyways, but it'll just be fun to see him in and super cute. <laughs> Okay, so the last thing I wanna go over is games. And like I said at the beginning of this video, some of these games are a little bit more expensive, some are not. I just added them all together and split it <laughs> by five so that I would know kind of budget-wise where all the kids were. And I'm just gonna put Pulse and Kids on them and they can all open them up and share them instead. Cause in the past I've gotten them specific games, not necessarily specific, like they were still meant to be shared in some way, but they were a little bit more age appropriate to them. And all they do is fight <laughs> over them. Like, no, this is my game. I personally got this game. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> so this year I didn't do that. We're just gonna give everyone the games and then they can still fight about it. <laughs> but I got all these games on Prime Day back in the summertime. So this is Ubongo, which I think has been on my list for a while. And I just thought it would be fun. We have another, a few other things I think by Cosmos. Is that how you even say it? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it just looked like a lot of fun. So I thought we'd give that a try. And then my boys have never played Minecraft, but for some reason they love it, probably because everybody else does. And so this was another one that was drastically on sale for Prime Day. And so I got this so that they could try that one out. And I don't really know anything about any of these games, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And then this is a game schooling game, basically. This is Continent Race, and so I just thought this would be a fun game to use for geography. And Taco vs. Burrito was another one that kind of popped up as a popular game, and I've seen other people talk about it. I think our neighbor has it. And then the last one is Math Dice, but this is the junior version, so I thought this would be good too for my five, almost six year old to play. And so I, again, don't know anything about any of these games <laughs> besides other people liking them and they've been in my cart or things like that, or they were drastically on sale. So I thought we would try them out. Okay, so those are the Christmas presents I got for my kids this year. I hope this video was helpful for you. Hopefully it inspired something, you know, maybe you just didn't know what to get and hopefully it helped you figure something out. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I. I wish you the best in your Christmas present shopping because it is a little tricky. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.